Uh, yeah, I, I kind of just want to dig in a little bit to the to the the experience of of being in a race like UTM or any kind of hundred mile race from from your perspective because I've got a kind of middle of the pack perspective and you kind of in this constant mental battle with like can I keep going? Oh my god, it's so far to go. You know, how can I do this? I'm struggling. I'm I, I just want to stop. Do you, do you are you battling with all those same thoughts and feelings or is it more like just how much do I push? what position I am am I in is it is there kind of a, an almost like mental battle that you have just to keep going or or how does it feel when you're in, in deep in a race th- like that I think for me I have to break these races down massively right. so for for a big race like UTMB it's easy to break down and I broke UTMB down into quarters and actually right. a 25 mile chunk really doesn't seem like that much um, so so in the first so at the beginning you're just thinking about getting to that 25 mile point and then yeah, you're precisely. About getting to the 50 mile point right? yeah and on my and on my watch i have different courses so I've, for utmb i had four different courses okay. that ruled 25 miles each so when you're what i never had a moment where it says you've got 85 miles left to go because yeah, that, is, that's, that is that is miserable yeah exactly that i stopped wearing my watch for that reason because i'd look at how far to go and it it's such it's, it almost feels like a a blow isn't it it takes the wind yeah. out of your sails it's like okay. well i'd 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 run the course i knew the course yeah i knew what splits roughly i wanted to run and yeah just got into a really nice rhythm i find training way harder than racing um right. the support at utmb especially at the front of the race is yeah is just incredible um it's not boring at all you sort of you look down at your watch and you realize you've been going for six hours and it feels I'll do some 35 minute runs at home that feel like they've taken forever. Yeah. Whereas I can do six hours in a race and it feels like it's just gone in a, gone in a second. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And the, the, a lot of the American runners and I've heard Zach Miller talk about this and Jim Walmsley talk about the pain cave and, and, and slight and kind of almost relishing the pain cave, relishing that, that kind of darkness within the race do you does that resonate with you is that something you you can kind of feel like you know what they're talking about yeah i think so i think it's that acceptance that it you can't go into these races and think it's going to be easy mm. um because it's not it's really not and whether it's it's hard because it's the environmental conditions or you've gone out too hard or whatever or you've got a bad stomach whatever it is it's going to get hard and i think as so, as soon as you've accepted that it's going to be hard and then when it gets hard you've got a strategy of how you're going to embrace it knowing that it's going to get better I think for me is really important and yeah it's definitely something that I try and I try and do and sort of we'll do quite a lot of visualization before the race and sort of lateral thinking before the race of right if this happens then this is what I'm going to do to try and counteract the negativity and I think the the thing that really sort of separates the those who can deal with the pain and yeah coexist in the pain cave with all of the demons is yeah the ability to say like the ability to just accept it and be like right well right. it's only it's not that bad yeah yes it's uncomfortable but if I stopped now it would all go away yeah. but then it's thinking like right well think about all of the hard work that you've put in before this race the countless hours run the account of meters climbed the accounts of yeah. reps you've done in the gym it all adds up that that sort of goes in your yeah in your bank that when you need to spend it and you need to sort of use that sort of positive mentality and that sort of positive association with other things that you've done that's for me the time the yeah. time to use it and to spend it all because yeah it's the pain is it's going to end, but yeah. you've worked so hard to get here. You might as well just keep going. 